Hello my amazing tarot friends, it's Justin Michael, welcome back to my channel and welcome if this is your first time visiting, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you're enjoying the holiday season, uh, I'm really into it this year. Um, you know, normally I'm just too busy with work and everything to process uh, the holiday and I'm usually just like at the wire with everything, you know. Um, last minute shopping and just getting everything together, getting the tree up last minute. But I guess because of quarantine this year, you know, I've had uh, some time to really process the holiday and enjoy it more. Um, and I'm just really into it. Actually started with uh, Halloween because I love the fall and I wanted to, you know, get into sort of the fall spirit for Halloween. Uh, so I ordered the Samhain book by, um, this is Llewellyn's uh, Sabbaths uh, Essentials. And uh, they have a, a book for, you know, each uh, season of the Wheel of the Year. Um, so I got that and I enjoyed it. And I said, I'm going to order the Yule book. Um, so this is, you know, it's recipes, uh, spells. They have, uh, you know, lore for the winter solstice. A lot of cool stuff in here. And, you know, the winter solstice, uh, I'm sure you know, is on December 21st uh, this year. And it's really special because um, this year especially, and I think this is part of why I'm so excited, uh, because Jupiter and Saturn are aligning in such a way that they're gonna create a really bright star. Um, and it's called the Christmas star. And it hasn't appeared in 800 years actually. And it just happens to fall on the winter solstice. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I think that's you know very synchronistic and um, very interesting. But the book just goes into the whole history of uh, like for instance the tree which we now call the Christmas tree but it was initially the Yule tree and they would bring it into the home uh, as a symbol of life in a time of decay and death and you know mother nature uh, went to bed uh, until the spring she was like least active that time of year uh, I thought that was really cool and then there's some really great uh, recipes in here for like mulling spices for wine uh, and uh, there's a really cool uh, Christmas tree spread uh, in here well, it's a Yule tree, I should say, Yule tree spread. Um, and that prompted me to create my own holiday spread, which I can share down below uh, in the uh, comment section for you uh, if you want to try my holiday spread. But uh, So it started really, another interesting thing happened with um, my spell candles. So I ordered some spell candles. Uh, and they were supposed to be taper size, but they ended up being too small for uh, you know what I wanted them for. But they fit my menorah perfectly, which I've had for years, but I rarely use it. For one, because I'm not Jewish and I just don't know the traditional blessings, but I've always had a menorah to sort of honor, you know, my Jewish friends and so forth. And I know how to light it because I lit, I lit the menorah uh, when I was a concierge. Uh, I had a lot of Jewish residents, so we had a tree and a menorah, you know, and I would light the menorah every night. Um, so I knew how to light the menorah, but I didn't know the blessings. So I thought, well, what can I do, you know, to light my menorah? Well, I happened to Google that night, actually, also, uh, when Hanukkah began, and it happened to begin. Uh, it was the first night that night. So it was just all synchronistic, and I just felt like it was meant to be. So I thought, you know, each night when I light the candle, I'll pull a card from my favorite Jewish deck, uh, which is the Raziel Tarot, and that's, uh, you know, created by my uh, friend Rachel Pollock and uh, Robert M. Place. It's a majors-only deck having to do with, uh, you know, like culturally Jewish things. Um, and one of the cards that I pulled was uh, the star card. You know, uh, I think it was like the night three was the star card. And uh, it got me thinking about the star uh, appearing on the 21st because, you know, even though it's not a Jewish story, the, the story of the New Testament surrounding Christmas, um, you know, with the three wise men following the star, a lot of people actually believe that that was the star. Was, that's what happened was that Saturn and Jupiter were in conjunction. So the fact that it's happening, you know, for the first time in 800 years, I think is just a, a really, really cool. And it's, I believe, a symbol of great change and possibly an end uh, to the, um, the age of Pisces and maybe maybe entering uh, the age of Aquarius. I'd, I'd like to think that, you know, um, but it's just really interesting, uh, the whole the whole thing. And uh, I would be curious to know, you know, what your practices are, um, what you've been doing for the holidays. Uh, I've just really been enjoying um myself and um so leave your comments below let me know what you're up to and uh what you've been doing but uh and what you plan to do if you plan to watch or you know keep an eye out for the star um and uh, so we're going to take a look at the deck here um that i received i'm going to turn the camera around so we can really look into it. it's called uh fails arcana 
and uh, it's a cat themed deck and I don't have any other decks uh, that are cat themed uh, I have the Grimalkin second edition on its way but uh, and it's also monochromatic so let's take a look at the the deck and I'll share some thoughts about it okay so we have the fails arcane or arcana I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that uh, and it's created by Taylor Bryn um, and you know, this is her website here, taylorbrin.com. I will link uh, down in the description box uh, where this can be purchased on Etsy and her website and everything. Um, I don't really know much about her as a creator. This is the first deck I believe that I have from her. Uh, but I'm really excited about this deck. It's first off, the quality is just wonderful and it's not an expensive deck. It's, I think it cost about $45 with shipping uh, and it got to me pretty fast. So I ordered it, uh, I think, less than a week ago so um, but this is the inside of the box it's a really nice quality box um, and the card quality is fabulous it's very like uh, the new choice tower to Marseille type of uh, um, quality you know what I mean and it is gilded it has a nice gilding on here and it's very Rider Wade Smith so we're gonna start off of course with the full I'm gonna zoom in just so you can get a better picture of these of these cards but like I said the the card quality is really really phenomenal and it's just they feel so nice I don't have many cat decks in fact I don't have any this is my first and I do have the Grimalkin second edition on its way uh, but you know for me some of the cat decks were just a bit gimmicky and not serious but uh, for someone who has three cats that I love very much I often do do readings for them uh, especially in times of like uh, challenge and so forth, uh, you know, vet visits and so forth. Uh, and this will be perfect for that, but it's also just a great deck and it's very Rider Waite Smith. So as you can see, you know, you, you have the fool there on the cliff and it's monochromatic. I don't have many. I think I have one other, two other monochromatic decks. Uh, one was a gift and the other was the Ship of Fools, which I almost never use. But, uh, you know, I don't feel about those decks like I do with this. This is really just easily one of my top decks uh, of 2020. So, but uh, anyway, we're going to take a look here. And as you can see, like very, very Rider Waite Smith and just beautiful. And for not having color, you know, for me, which is essential, I feel like color, uh, it's really a moving deck. So, and one that I'm just very glad I got. But anyway, we're just going to look at the cards and I'm going to stop talking.
right, guys, that's it. Uh, that's the Fails Arcana, and uh, like I said, I'll leave the description box below. Also, special thanks to my friend Jesse, who created the uh, Crystal Skull Tarot, uh, Jesse Driscoll. She's the one who told me about this deck. She sent me a picture of it, and um, she was like, you're going to love this deck. And I was like, surprisingly, I don't really like cat decks that much. I, but when I saw this, I was like, you know, I just fell in love. And I was like, I have to get this, despite the fact that I've been trying not to buy decks. But uh, anyway, like I said, check out the store and, uh, you know, uh, the website. And um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you enjoy your holiday season. And uh, until next time, love and peace.